some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today's video takes us to Boston, Massachusetts with dumbass Elmo and his little buddy, whoever he is, as they attempt to uh, fraud at the local courthouse only to, well, be denied access to it. And it couldn't have happened to a more irritating jackass. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? I'm sorry? You guys can't film in here. Well, we're, we're just gonna, we're doing some press work. Just in the lobby. Not, 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 not without a 119. What's a 119? It's a piece of letter that allows you to film with the permission from the judge, but you can't film. You, allowed, you can film outside in front of the building, that's all fine. Is there, a, is there a, an order for, from the judge that says that you can't film in the, in the, in the lobby? Hey, dumbass Elmo, I know you're a uh, complete dumbass, as uh, my nickname for you portrays, but are you deaf as well? Because he just stated the uh, ruling that says you can't do it. And, uh, well, of course, you're not going to listen to it because you think you have the absolute right to do it because, well, reasons. I mean, you never really provide any uh, coherent reasons to begin with oh yeah before i forget uh to those of you who are new to this channel or new to frauding overall uh this is dumbass elmo right here here now a few months ago he disappeared off of his old channel and has recently turned up on a uh new channel called first amendment uh network or something like that and one of his uh more annoying traits is that he's obsessed with his ad populum fallacy number of uh views that he gets on his uh regular channel which in the long term really doesn't mean jack squat for anybody. But let's just go ahead and continue with this uh, show, shall we? Yeah, well, that's in that, uh, well, inside the courtroom, you mean? Inside the courthouse. What about the new, when the news people come? Like, why are they, they even. The, they, have the, they have the 119s with them. Okay, so where do we go get one? You have to get one <laughs> online at maskup.com. Okay. Well, that's kind of that kind of defeats the whole purpose of this building. They they talk about your rights in this building, and our first the very first amendment says we have freedom of the press. Another concept of uh, Ass Elmo that is quite annoying is he has no uh, historical concept of uh, what the First Amendment actually stands for. And I've explained this in other videos, but apparently he doesn't seem to understand. You see, when the uh, First Amendment was first conceived of, uh, the King of England was censoring a lot of material that was a lot of people were trying to publish. And the founding fathers saw fit to put freedom of the press in there, which basically means you have the right to publish whatever you want without government interference. It doesn't mean that you have the right to do anything that you want as a member of the press. No, 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 no. That does, it doesn't mean that at all. So that's out of the window pretty much. Talking with him. So, ma'am, we're. I'm just. I'm just I'm having just a comment. Yeah, we're. Yeah, I, it's fine. within the law go right over there with no problem. It's not a problem. It just. I'm just letting you know what it is. And I and I understand. Um, I was just wondering if you have a piece of the official paperwork that says. I do not have it on me. It is on the online. Do you understand where I'm coming from, though? I understand what you're coming from, but we have unfortunately, the... that's just the rules in the building. You just you can't be filming inside the building without a 119. What's the name of the person in charge? If you want, I can most definitely call my supervisor, but you got to take the awesome. cameras outside. Awesome. Right? Awesome. Awesome. Okay. That's All right. Fine. Okay, we got a supervisor coming. So I don't like. I can tell you one thing, dumbass Elmo. Uh, it's not going to go your way because I believe about 90% of the time uh, you end up being trespassed or booted out or something like that because, well, you don't know the law or how the judicial system works or anything of that nature. No, you seem to focus mainly on the First and Third Amendments and sometimes the Fourth Amendment. But other than that, 
You don't know the rest of the uh, Constitution. That's for sure. Push this out. But uh, we're going to call the supervisor and we're going to go in there because that lady, do you see how unprofessional that lady was? Super. So now we have to, we were nice. They wanted, she wanted to be rude. So now, now we're, now we're going to express our first amendment. We're going to go in the publicly accessible areas. We're not taking no for an answer. This is our right as Americans. This is what's happening. So now just remember that he's not going to take no for an answer. Let's see what actually happens in this particular case. A little longer than a few minutes later. How we doing? So Hello. we're working on a story at our superior court here. Yeah. And we, we're going to be going into the only the publicly accessible areas. Your officers here seem to have some sort of issue. They're saying. Well, the first one said we could, and then he said we can't, and then the other the one. The other one was acting really rude. I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is how your officers act on a daily basis, but it's totally unprofessional. Uh, we were completely cordial. So they want to disrespect us and say that like pretty much the first amendment doesn't apply here. So now we have the right, we have the absolute, we have the law like backed up by the law to go in this publicly accessible area, right in the lobby, not the courtrooms, obviously, just in the lobby here to work on our story and then we're out. Oh, really? Uh, there's laws that uh, say that you can uh, bypass the uh, courthouse procedures and allow you to, uh, well, violate their, uh, their, uh, Policies without being trespassed. Uh, can you please provide a citation for that? I mean, all of us want to know what the, you know that we apparently don't know, but you apparently uh, have no clue what it's about because you can't provide a citation. And boy, my eyes are crossing at this point because I said way too much. That's all we're doing. What story are we working on? Tonight? It's a story about the Superior Court. But we're not trying to go into any restricted we're not, area. And we're not trying to give anyone a hard time either, but we're just trying yeah, to Yeah, I know, I understand. We're that. just we're trying just, to do our job, that's all. Yeah, but we got a job to do that, of course. that comes from above us of and me. Of course, and, and we're doing everything, I'm doing everything within the law. And that's why when we enter this establishment, we just go in the publicly accessible area. We know not to enter anything that says restricted. We, we, know, we this is not our first rodeo. No, we, I understand we, we, that, we but we hundreds. have things that people that come in with video cameras can't be going into the, even a public view at all. So maybe, maybe, I mean, we don't have a problem if you, if you escort us, so we just, you have the right as, uh, the same right as us to be in this building. Um, no, I know, it's about recording, recording people that are in here and stuff like well, that. Well, we're not here to record anyone specifically. No, I know that. But, but you have, you. nobody has a right to privacy in public. Uh, so the jurors don't have any rights in there at all. No rights to privacy within the courthouse as per, well, the uh, court rules and procedures. Uh, yeah, dude, uh, try again. And then what about attorney-client privilege? Is that something that you don't uh, believe in as well? Uh, I mean, I can go on. I mean, there are a lot of security issues. You know, though, I've done this. I do this no, for a living. No, I know that, but there are rules that we got to go by and because they tell us to. Of course, Don't buddy. let anybody and, in. And, and they might say, hey, our policy says it's a security issue. They can't, but unfortunately, that's not the law. So if your guy says no, we're, we'll just have to call the police. The police will come down and they'll, they'll inform you guys, hey, they can be right in this area. And we wouldn't, we don't want to go through that trouble, but no, if I you understand have to, that, if you have to educate. Got to go through of my... Of course. Do, you okay. do your thing, man, and we'll, we'll be... Just hang tight. I'll be right back. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sure they're so scared that you're going to call the police and tell them that they won't let you in the courthouse. Oh, me, oh, my. Yeah, dude. I don't think that's how it really works. Five minutes later. Went to pay Donnie's office. Nobody's there. So, well, I'm gonna work on. Well, I'm gonna work on getting the proper credentials and what That'd I have to do. However, we still have the proper credentials right now today under the First Amendment. So, what we would like to do is, with your permission, with all together, very briefly and under a minute walk us into the publicly accessible lobby and back out. We worked on our story. We're on our way. You never see us again. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> I do that in a heartbeat when my boss just called me and said, no filming whatsoever. What's it? What's it? Okay. All right. That's, uh, I'm just, all right. So we, I, I get that. But I was just what is it with... We waited out here for 10 minutes and then I just left What is it with... 
What is it with cameras, though? Like, what, 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 what can anybody do? I told you the thing with the cameras is we just happen to see someone that's coming out of an elevator, and wherever you put it, whatever, it just might hit someone that's up here on charges for something that's off the, you know. But I mean, all, 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 anybody, anyone that's here for charges or anything, we can request and find out everything I that's know going that, on. I know that. So we pictures know that. like it's the just least the camera thing. That's why it's Rule One Nineteen of the SJC. You know the ones that did give you something if you told them or show them that they're doing. A documentary or whatever, boom, they give you the right to do go in there like the news media does it every day. I got my... What about the BMC? Oh, it's a new food house, the white tall one. All right, thank you, appreciate it. All right, no problem. What's your name and position here? Ah! Oh, shut your dang mouth, you fraud or crybaby. I mean, threatening to call the cops on uh, this uh, courthouse because they wouldn't let you in. Well, really won't help anything because I'm sure the cops are well aware of the trespassing statute should you try to enter the uh, courthouse and uh, be asked to leave. Uh, but I guess you just didn't think that far ahead now, did you? The other guy shouldn't have done. I already spoke to him. Okay. Okay. It, it wasn't. It wasn't the guy so much. It was really the girl. It was really the girl. Yeah, oh, really? She yeah. started putting the the bin over her, her, her head and everything. Yeah, like that too, doesn't like, that doesn't look good on your on your. Well, I'm just gonna end it right here, folks, because the next few minutes are just quite boring. Anyway, they talk to the officer about all sorts of BS, and uh, well, the fact is they didn't get in. They didn't get their way, and they're whining and crying and complaining about it and want to call the police. And if they could call the police on them, they would have already done so. I mean, it's just that damn simple. If you really have like, all the cards in place, you're not going to threaten. You're going to do it. I mean, it's as simple as that. Threats really don't mean much of anything unless you have the cards to back them up. Metaphorically speaking, of course. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. It. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, sexual Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fucking leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. You chose poorly. 
morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said that's a 25. That's no, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hi. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave. Okay. Why? You. you know you are not to be on campus. Please no. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys were arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want what, someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.